I pray to no man. What is up, guys? Uh, the Colony's here for our 100 subscriber Q&A special. What is up, guys? The Colony's here for our 100 Q... 100 subscriber Q&A special. Mine's gonna be like more subdued, obviously. So mine's like this. It's like, hey everybody, welcome to the, the Colony's 100 subscriber uh, Q&A special. I feel like we should do an awkward introduce yourself thing, like yeah. every, every class presentation. Mm -hmm. I'm Pete. Nope. <laughs> we gotta do it again. I'm Pete. Joey. Jared. This is our class project. First question is for all three of us, everybody's favorite band. I would say Led Zeppelin. But Led like, Zeppelin of all time? Like, of all time, but like of right now. I would say 1975. We'll do both. We'll do all both. All time and right now. Yeah. Okay. All time. I would say Ben Folds 5, and also right now, Ben Folds 5. <laughs> <laughs> All time Beatles, modern is tough to choose between these two, but Black Keys and Strokes. All right, uh, the next question, how did we name the band? Especially for you guys. I don't want to say placeholder name at the time when we met, but it, you know, it was just kind of like a, a random like name we thought up, and just never really got around to changing it, and now it's just the name of the band. Who was the one that thought of it? I think it was, I think I Joey did, it. yeah. And I think it was because uh, going to GW, wanting to be similar to like the colonial name. Yeah. And then... But not too similar. Not too similar, because but people still confuse us anyways. Yeah. We're going to college in DC. Right. This is a good name, I guess. All right, here's a good question. Co-headlining a tour with any band, who would it be? You can't say the strokes. The way I interpret it is like, who do you want to be on tour with? Like, who's the most fun to be around? Yeah, with? yeah. I mean, I feel like it'd be really crazy to like be on the road with like Lil Wayne, <laughs> like 100 Nights here. Yeah. Just see what that's like. He left the Blink 182 tour. He might leave our tour. If I can't say the Strokes, I'll say the Black Keys. Just a band that we've played with already. That would be cool, cool as fuck to tour with. Brummies. Brummies. Yeah. That they'd be yeah. solid. To tour oh with. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Yeah. I would say. Probably be a tie between them and a uh, recent band we've uh, played with, Rebel Romance. They seem like really cool guys and a uh, gal. My like number one would be like 1975 because they have a like, great live show and like it's really cool. What does Joey smell like? I think I smell pretty good. I smell like beef. for the most point. I, I smell beef on you too most of the time. Well, that's beef cake. I don't really eat beef. I guess I smell like beef. Yeah, it's beef. I do not like that. <laughs> Has Jared written any songs about his ex? Oh my god. No. No, I have not. I have not. Each of us, what's our favorite blog? I don't really read a lot of it, uh, music blogs. At all? Not really. Have you guys never heard of like, Stereo Gum, Consequence of Sound? I mean, I've heard, I mean, of, I've heard of that. I've heard of all of them. I see them being posted and stuff. I just, yeah. It's not the type of reading I usually do. Yeah. That's it's like, it's like the, the Frank Zappa saying about writing about music, have you heard this? It's like, yeah. uh, writing about music is like dancing about architecture. It just like doesn't, to me, it doesn't really like connect. I guess, um, I like, not like, like a blog blog, perhaps like a YouTube blog, like definitely like, um, Anthony Fantano. Oh yeah, I was just gonna Anthony say, Fantano. yeah, Neil Brown, uh, oh, yeah. I feel like Anthony Fantano would hate us. I feel like I also got a shout out. Uh, they did a piece on us a little bit ago. The name is Twilight Collective. I think I've heard of them. Yeah. yeah. Music Box Pete, great name. Great name. Yeah. Great name. Famous band you wouldn't open for. Uh, Insane Clown Posse. <laughs> no, yeah, I feel that. You mean you wouldn't want to open for them? I prioritize my like personal safety too much. <laughs> Okay. You yeah, get like shanked at concert. <laughs> Nickelback, no thing. Um, Madden Dragons, no thanks. No Madden Dragons. Yeah, do it. Basically any of like the top ten Billboard alternative chart recently. Yeah. Or well, the, the Port rock chart. I would do Portugal the Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Moon. Yeah, those oh, those would be cool, but everything else off of that didn't like make not, sense yeah. at all. Do you miss Jordan? Yes. Why do you hate me? Why do I hate <laughs> you or why do I hate Jordan? Either. <laughs> Why do you hate me, bro? I don't, I don't hate. I don't hate anybody, really. Um, I hate so, Donald Trump. So I have, I have a question. I don't know how to answer that one. Wait, what's your question? I have a question. This is for Pete. How does Pete get so many Bumble Tatianas, and can I apply this strategy to my own life? How do I get so many Bumble Tatianas? Yes. I actually recently found this out that 
You know how sometimes at the bottom of your Bumble profile will say like your top played artists? Mm. The colonies are one of them. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So is that the reason you think? Or it's got to be the reason. Yeah. Like self love to. is important these days. Self love is very important. Uh, another one is when will you be playing Golden Hour by Casey Musgraves? Uh, 2020. Repeat. I thought of a question. What's your question, bro? My question would be. What is, if you have one, it's not, you know, do you have a dream venue? Dream venue, Royal Albert Hall. We kind of played it recently. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that was like our DC, like our... Like, that was our DC the, dream yeah. venue for the anthem. Mm -hmm. I would say Madison Square Garden would be sick. Yeah. One day. Friend, I would do, I would do Royal Albert Hall because it's like, you know, not only big in the US, but like big abroad. I don't dream that big. I would love to play at uh, Newport Music Hall in Columbus, Ohio. So that's a hometown show. Oh. Why are you a golden snack, a golden bear snack pack man, Joey? Golden bears for life. And on that, I think we're pretty much wrapped up with the Q&A. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Um, Please subscribe. Please subscribe, like the video, comment below if you have more questions. We'll do another special eventually, like hopefully soon with more people coming into the channel. Um, I guess that's all for us. See you next time. <laughs> <laughs>